I was reading uh, about some of the research on that today, and it is about 12 grade levels over my head. It is, <laughs> but it's amazing, and thank goodness we have smart people that are on that. Independence Day, always highlighted with fireworks displays to end the day. It's a time for family and friends to come together and have a good time, but this year, we know that's going to look much different, especially for us here in Northeast Ohio. Social distancing and other concerns over spreading COVID-19 might make you a little apprehensive about attending gatherings with family and friends. So what is the best way to gracefully decline that invitation to do so? A local expert says it's proper to do so in writing. Even if you were to go, you would usually bring something. So how about sending something? A lot of companies, you can get delivery, a nice fruit basket or something. Very interesting. It's a good concept. Joanne Smith says people are also choosing virtual parties or online game nights instead of that traditional backyard barbecue with extended friends and family. Interesting. I love that idea. Yeah. Send something and sorry I sorry, can't make it, but sorry, here I can't you go. go. Yeah, great idea. I wonder if a text message is considered writing uh, it is so you <laughs> can't know make it if you want to text me and tell me you can't make my fourth of july gift together uh, that's fine Aww, all right <laughs>